Lori Pretty and Lisa George explored an integrated approach to teaching mathematics at Woodland Elementary in Dildo in their multi-age 1-2 classrooms. Lisa has been a primary teacher for nearly 25 years and Lori has been teaching for 15 years. They have been working together as advocates for a multi-age approach for a number of years and have collaborated together in their multi-age 1-2 classrooms for the past three years. Their classroom configuration is very similar in that they have approximately 18 students with 7 grade 1s and 11 grade 2s. Students come from a variety of backgrounds with varying levels of ability. The STEM project has enriched their math instruction and student engagement and learning. We chose to get involved in the STEM project when we saw an opportunity to explore how we could change the delivery of math instruction in our classrooms. For the first two years, we followed the resource for combined grades 1 and 2 by Pearson, Math Makes Sense. In using this approach, it made us aware that it was difficult for students to link their knowledge of each strand as the strands were taught separately. We also noticed a gap and a need to review concepts from grade 1 into grade 2. We proposed a reconfigured design to teaching primary mathematics. This included teaching sets of numbers by integrating all the strands. For example, we would begin by focusing on numbers 1 to 10 and then later would move on to numbers 11 to 20 and so on up to 100. This needed to be a year-long approach. However, for the purpose of this project, we narrowed down our focus to the numbers 11 to 20. We felt that if students could successfully work with these numbers, they should be able to apply their knowledge to larger numbers as well. Our research focus was an integrated approach to mathematics instruction to develop a conceptual understanding of number sense and operations. From this focus, we formulated our research question. How will an integrated approach to mathematics affect our teaching practices in the future? To us, an integrated approach is combining all the strands presented in the primary curriculum into one unit. We began our process by attending an institute at Memorial University where we gained a better understanding of teacher inquiry and the process we would follow. Through our research, we became aware of the difference between math concepts and math skills. According to Marion Small in her text, Making Math Meaningful, research is more broadly based, dealing with the acquisition of conceptual understanding as well as skills. Our thoughts and beliefs about math instruction and students' learning were confirmed in the Prime Kit. It states, by focusing the learning of each strand around a few key concepts and skills, it becomes easier for students to relate new knowledge to previously learned ideas. The outcomes for grade 1 and 2 were analyzed and adapted for the numbers 11 to 20. We integrated number sense, addition, subtraction, and patterning for this group of numbers. We planned the tools we would use and the types of activities that would meet the outcomes. During our implementation period, students worked in centers, matching numbers to words, counting, and using manipulatives to explore number sets. We took advantage of this time and had student-teacher conferences for small group instruction. Through the funding we received from Teachers in Action, Students had a variety of tools that they could use in these centers. They used iPads to practice these numbers and were provided with a variety of manipulatives to explore in a meaningful learning environment. We also used a variety of methodologies ranging from full group to small group, partner work and working independently. In our pretest, it was evident that while students were able to count, they didn't have a good number sense. For example, Given a number line, they would start at 1 each time they were asked to place a number on the line. After completing this project, students are displaying a more thorough knowledge of numbers, in that, when asked to do the same task, they consider factors such as, is it more or less than 10, is it closer to 0 or 20, and so on. So how do you know that 16 on your 10 frame? Okay. 
okay. And what about these? What are these called? So what kind of what do we call a ten? Ten rod. A ten rod. Okay, kids. What are these? Time for your math the intent of our project did not specify a desire to increase student motivation. However, this has occurred. The students are excited about math, and we as teachers look forward to planning and implementing math daily. Collaborating with a colleague and students collaborating with each other has allowed us to present and for students to successfully achieve the outcomes. This is now impacting our multi age 1 2 classroom across the curriculum, and it will guide our teaching practices in the future.